My first love was Timothy John Tucker. Timothy John Tucker. He was 12 and I was 11. Did he go by Timmy Jack? No. Not Timothy John. Tell me he didn't go by Timothy John. No. Timmy, did he have a dog? Just stop talking. It's my turn. Sorry. No, he was the most beautiful boy in the world. He had this blonde hair and blue eyes and a big smile. In my school, the beautiful boys never smiled. They always sat around brooding. They always looked pissed and depressed. Made the girls want them more. Sorry. Tim never brooded. He was a good boy. He was a happy boy and smart. I loved him all the way through junior high and high school. Did you ever go out with him? No. I mean, not that I didn't try. I asked him. You know, maybe like four times. I mean, not in one week, but over the years. I guess he just wasn't interested. He never said that. He was always nice. He came up with excuses. Uh, he was gay. <laughs> he dated a lot of girls, just not me. Well, I don't get it. I saw pictures of you in high school. You were hot. Maybe that's it. Maybe you were too hot for him. Was he president of the Christian Athletes Association or the Young Republicans or something? No. No, I'm not that I know of. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he did think I was a bad girl. Or something else. I don't know, but it was something. It was something about me that didn't appeal to him. Yeah, I'd say it was funny, but it's not. It's the way these things seem to happen all the time. People fall in love with people that don't love them. It's sad. It's like the saddest thing in the whole world. Unrequited love. Try living an unrequited life.